Hi, I'm Arnie Gunderson from Fairwinds. I'd like to talk to you today about a significant issue with aging nuclear reactors throughout the world. A nuclear reactor is made of metal, and its operation is similar to that of a pressure cooker, except the pressure cooker works at 15 pounds and the nuclear reactor works at 2,000 pounds pressure. And that, of course, means very thick walls on the nuclear reactor. Another difference is that the nuclear fuel creates the heat inside the pressure cooker. There's one other major difference. Your pressure cooker is never subject to high levels of nuclear radiation. For decades, the nuclear industry has known that when a metal is subject to intense neutron radiation, it becomes brittle and it can shatter like glass. This phenomenon is called neutron embrittlement. The average age of America's nuclear reactors is more than 30 years old. And aging nuclear embrittlement is one of the riskiest issues facing the nuclear industry in the U.S. and worldwide. In order to prevent an embrittled nuclear reactor vessel from shattering as if it were glass, the reactor must be kept at a temperature of more than 250 degrees when steam pressure is applied. Scientifically, this is called a nil ductility transition temperature. Obviously, we don't have a 40-year-old nuclear reactor to shatter for an embrittlement experiment. But we want to show you what might happen if cold water were to hit a hot nuclear reactor vessel during a nuclear accident. This is called pressurized thermal shock. Please don't try this experiment at home. Assisting me, is Fairwind's fearless lab assistant, Carolyn Phillips. The glass we're using will be heated to 470 degrees in the oven to represent an aging and embrittled nuclear reactor vessel. First, we'll simulate cold water being injected to cool the nuclear reaction inside. What happens should be bad for the glass, and it would be even worse if it was a nuclear reactor. Okay. Let's give it a shot. I've been studying and testifying to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission about the Palisades nuclear plant in Michigan, and it is the most embrittled nuclear reactor in the world. Owned by Entergy, Palisades has been in danger of being shut down due to its embrittlement since 1982. Yes, 1982. Incredibly, the NRC, which was created as an advocate to protect people's health and safety, has changed the rules more than half a dozen times so that Entergy's Palisades plant can continue to churn out electricity and profits. Inside every nuclear reactor are metal samples that are designed to be removed to check just how bad the embrittlement has become. Palisades has these samples, but doesn't plan to look at them for two decades. Citizens in Michigan asked the NRC, Given Palisades is the most embrittled plant in the country, 
Why hasn't Palisades tested these samples? The NRC's response will astound you. They said, if they test the samples, there'll be no more samples to test. Circular logic at its best from the NRC. Fairwinds believes it's better to test those samples than to run a test on the state of Michigan if there's an accident. Ferrin's analysis and testimony to the NRC is located on our website page with this Palisades video. Allowing the embrittled Palisades nuclear reactor to continue to operate using only mathematical conjecture rather than testing the metal samples is another example of how the NRC just doesn't do its job of protecting public health and safety. Well, barring a nuclear accident, this will be our last video of 2014. I'd like to wish you and yours a happy, safe holiday. Our fun drive is in full swing, and we would really appreciate your support. I'm Arnie Gunderson of Fairwinds. We'll keep you informed.